years. I've known it couldn't happen without the proper ingredients, the right temperature, the right spark to set it off. But now, suddenly, all the conditions are right. With a little daring, the experiment can be made to work. But I don't want to stick around to find out. Not even for one-seventh of four million dollars? Ladies and gentlemen, this is Edward G. Robinson. Meet the seven thieves. Each human being like a sharp precision instrument with a job to do. There was the professor, played by me. He held the key to the crime of crimes. Paul, played by Rod Steiger. He didn't like his girl being used as bait. Now, don't you have any, uh, any conscience about setting yourself up as a man trap? Melanie, played by Joan Collins, the dancer who kept them looking the other way. Could you believe in the morals of a woman whom you've seen almost naked? Pancho, the beatnik, as the phony baron, played by Eli Wallach, ready to swallow cyanide pills as part of the grand deception. I measure danger only in terms of profit. LeMay, played by Alexander Scorby. He sold out Monte Carlo for the touch of a woman's lips. Louis, played by Michael Dandy, an artist among safecrackers. And Baumer, the strong boy, played by Barry Kroger. He didn't feel dressed without a gun. But for the moment, Melanie was stealing the show. And while she turned every head in the place, the cleverest thieves in the business were committing the robbery that rocked Monte Carlo. The world's best protected city. Help! 